Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video, we're going to be looking at one ways to fix broken wood. I'm currently fulfilling an order for this beautiful writing instrument in Amboina Burrow, and as we can see, the Amboina Burrow has a few cracks. Uh, you might be lucky, and those could be just surface cracks, but sometimes the cracks go deeper, and what happens is once you cut the wood, the wood breaks kind of like what we have here. So what do I do in this case? I mean, I don't want to waste valuable material, so I need to do something. And here is my way of fixing that broken piece. To the longer side of the broken section, I affix a double-sided tape. And to the double-sided tape, I put one and a half millimeters maple veneers. Now, the maple veneers are flexible, as you can see, and that will come into play a little bit later in the video. So, what I do next is I take good old-fashioned cling film and wrap around it. And that's simply to prevent glue from escaping those little uh, sections that we have right here. So, I wrap it up. And at the very end, I also attach a few rigid pieces. Kind of like this. That way, when I insert the wood into the opening and clamp tightly, I don't bend the flexible maple veneers and I glue the piece in a straight line the way I want it. I have here a sample of that whole, um, uh, <laughs> I should I say it, a whole gizmo. And we can see the Amboina burrow right in the middle there, and I'm going to be gluing that piece over here. Uh, for glue I'm going to be using epoxy, but I also sanded a little bit of this black wood to give it a little bit of a color to the epoxy so that I, it doesn't look like that translucent color, uh, more, but it looks more natural in terms of you know something is spouting or part of the wood, like part of the bark for example. Uh, so that's why I do this little bit of coloration. Now, let me glue this, and we're going to see how they look once the glue dries. Uh, the glue is a 5-minute epoxy, but I usually I give it about an hour or two just to have everything settled down. Uh, as another tip into the pro tip video, um, I try to stay away from artificial colors uh, because they're mainly oil-based, and for that I have to wait for the glue to dry for about a day or so before I can work with it properly. Uh, this sawdust is natural wood, so it's going to glue normally and within the 5 to 10 minutes, uh, but like I said, I give it an hour or so. So let me glue it and we'll be back. It is time now for the big reveal and let's see what we have. Now we do see that the glue has uh, leaked a little bit right here and glued the uh, uh, sacrificial pieces together, uh, but that's okay, we're going to take them off on the bandsaw, uh, but it looks good, looks nice and stable. And if we break it apart, There, we see the join line right here, and it's pretty stable. And this is how I fix broken wood. Now, you might be thinking this is only applicable for the wood that I use in making writing instruments, but it can be applied elsewhere. For example, I have a little piece of wood that is broken along the grain, so it goes like this. And if I want to glue it back together, I can simply attach two plates like this, maybe one at the back as well for extra support, and glue it and clamp it. That way it is held in a nice straight line. So it can be applied elsewhere. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.